Hi guys, uh, so you found this video whilst looking at how to mount wheels or build wheels for your UK 13.6 kilogram featherweight fighting robot. Uh, this is my machine, Wanna Chopper, famous for being launched into the roof at Robot Extreme, Extreme Robots, uh, Guildford event uh, in 2019. Uh, that was actually last weekend. Um, so it's quite entertaining to watch. I'll probably link uh, to the video from Extreme Robots, Robots Extreme, ER, Extreme Robots, uh, in the description below. Um, so wheels. I'm using Argos drills, and the thread on the end, if you remove the chuck, is a 3 8 24 TPI, or 3 8 UNF uh, thread. And when it comes to mounting wheels, there's a couple of options. There's heat inserting some uh, nut couplings into the center of your wheel. And I'll give you a quick demonstration on that um, in a second. Uh, the other way, which I've been experimenting, is to actually machine some hubs which have the thread on to allow you to connect it directly onto your drill. This is one way. This is my drill. And all I've done is got a 3 8 UNF bolt, chopped off the end, popped it into the chuck, and that's my axle ready to accept the wheel, like so. So I've now screwed that on, I've got another another bolt and I've just locked it onto there. So two nuts turned and it's locked in place. So that's a very basic starting point. And the same with that one, you just screw that on. Not quite one handedly, but that's one method. The method that I've gone for in this is to actually remove the chuck to expose that 3 8 UNF thread and I've then mounted it directly onto, onto that shaft from the motor. My wheels are 125mm diameter and the wheels I initially went for were these blue plastic ones. The bore size for the plane bearing, uh, I got these from bearingboys.co.uk. Um, they were about six pounds each, I think, and pretty good. Because I needed to save weight, I went also for nylon ones. Um, and I've only just used these at Portsmouth because I needed the weight saving. These are about 100 grams less when they've got the bike tread on and stuff. Um, but you can see that's also a 12 mil bore. You can buy them, this is the same wheel but with a 10 mil bore, but that diameter is much less, so there's less material around the nut. Um, this is a brass 3 8 UNF nut coupling. Uh, I bought these from uh, Sterling, I can't remember, I'll add the link on, on the bottom. Uh, they worked out about £2.50 each. It's brass, so it's quite heavy. Uh, it's also quite soft. So I've had these strip out a couple of times, or once, I should say, um, which has caused me a few problems whilst in combat, not being able to turn. So how do you go about putting this in? What I've done is I've chamfered off the end, and that will allow me to align it correctly push it in. The best method, uh, the, the, the bad method is to cold press that in, so actually brute force press it into the material. You don't get it accurately aligned, you're spreading the material um, which is putting it, putting it under stress. These ones are a glass filled nylon and because they're glass filled they won't flex and move around as much as the plain nylon. 
So you'll probably crack this. I've cracked some doing that. And it's not been great because they're expensive in relation to the nylon ones. The best method is to actually heat press them in. So we'll pop to my shed and I can quickly show you that process. So welcome to my shed. Uh, this is my six foot by four foot shed. Very small. Uh, I've got my CNC mill behind there. But I've also got my little Clark drill press. Um, you can buy basic drill presses which have, which fit your drills and it's like a little metal framework. It has a lever. You can then, I'm just going to put this down. You can then mount your standard drill to it. They cost about £15 from Amazon or something. Um, but I bought this back when I was doing my heavyweight and it's come in useful. So what I've done is mounted my 3 8 UNF bolt into the chuck and screwed on my nut. Now I'm using the base so it's nice and flat and level. It does flop around a little bit but if it's sat on the bottom of that surface it should be okay. So I'm going to line it up so when I put the drill press down it'll go nicely in the centre. Now with these nylon ones I can actually physically force it in and as you can see that's quite nice and flat. I'm just going to pop it down again. I'm going to remove it. Um, the problem with doing it cold press is it does put a lot of stress onto it. So the best method, once you've aligned it up correctly, is using your blowtorch, heat up the nut. and then press it in. I won't do it with this one. But what will happen is it will melt the plastic and it will form nicely around the shape, the hexagon shape on that. And that will give you a very tight join on there. Um, press it in to the depth that you need to go for your particular design. And then you can then mount that onto your wheel. And by doing that with the drill press, you can see it's nice and flat. There's a little bit of wobble, but that'll be all right. So now you've got your, your bearing pressed into your hub. You can then screw that onto the drill and then use your left hand threaded bolt to screw back into the chuck. A little bit of Loctite will keep it in place. And that's how you have a, a nice tight fixing with your wheel and it's nice. Um, I will go on to say that after a couple of fights I found that these eventually span inside the plastic so you'd actually have no drive. Um, and this happened to me at the end of Portsmouth uh, this year. Which, what, which is what led me to uh, a new design, which is these custom made hubs with a 3824 TPI, 38 UNF thread through the center. So if this was my drill, I screw that onto there. And then I can put the screw into the center, holding it all on. Um, and then the four bolts would obviously keep it tight to the thing. Uh, in order to do this, the original ones have the hub, so I took that off very dangerously, put the put an end mill into the drill press, 
and then put this on the the platform and then just moved it around and trimmed it off um, another way of doing it is to put it inside a chuck and then just plane it off which I think I did in the end just finished off made it smoother uh, that meant that I could mount the hubs to it and that gave me a much better fixing for the wheels onto this so where do you get these from? Pick them up on eBay, 3 8 UNF coupling nuts. Uh, you can make them yourself. Uh, if you've got a lathe, you can drill through a center of some hex bar. Steel would be better. And then thread it with a, th a 3 8 UNF tap. Um, you can also get these. Now these are brake nuts, brake coupling nuts for fixing hydraulic hose to brakes. This is a 3 8 UNF fixing. Now you will notice that these are actually smaller in diameter compared to the brass ones which these ones are good for 12 mil diameter. These ones, nope, they just sit in there and they won't do anything. But if you're using smaller wheels, this is a 10 mil that's that's perfect so have a look for the different types of nuts uh, so these are 3 8 UNF uh, brake coupling nuts these are brass threaded rod coupling nuts um, you can get these wheels in different diameters this one I've actually shaved off the top because originally they're, they're sort of rounded so you're only getting grip on a certain point so I filed that off to get maximum grip uh, the same with these I haven't I can't show you but I turned these curved surfaces off and made it completely flat I then got the bike tire cut it cut a bit off lined it up, put two spots through using 1.5mm drill bit, screwed it down with some 3mm uh, diameter 13mm length wood screws, fix it on, then wrap this around, stretched it a little bit, lined it up and then chopped it off so I had enough to go around the wheel and then did the same so you can see that's that's the ends two to begin with, stretched it round, another two and then I went round and did sort of, uh, three o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock attaching two more screws um, I then went around the edge and just trimmed off the excess so as you can see we actually removed quite a bit of the, the tyre to, to make it suit uh, so in comparison, the bike tread tyres with these ones, 